Tomorrow marks 125 years since women in New Zealand were able to head to the polling booths. Prolific and award-winning children's author Maria Gill joins us now with the latest book, Kate Shepherd, Leading the Way for Women. It is great to have you here, Maria. And doesn't she look fantastic? I know, I was going yeah. to say, that is amazing. Where did you get that? Oh, I, I'm a really good friend of mine, Mary Kelly, who made it for me. and Because uh, I wanted to, while well, I was actually writing this book, I sometimes dressed up in a long skirt and, and took pictures like when in the... Um, front cover, um, hold, the, Kate Shepherd is holding a pen and so I um, modelled that and I thought oh that would be a really good idea to actually have a costume made that I could wear um, to school visits and book oh, launches. Oh look there you are on screen. So are you actually wearing the corset because I've read in the book that Kate <laughs> ditched the corset didn't she? No I ditched it as well. Yeah too right, it's too painful. <laughs> now before we find out more about this book, you have written 56 books Woo! in your time. Yes. What an incredible effort, no easy task. Thank I know you. it's like choosing children but do you have any favourites for you? <laughs> well um, Antic Animals came out earlier in the year in April and I just loved writing those stories. Some were so sad and some were funny and it, it was investigating those stories I, I really enjoyed. But I, I mean always your latest is um, one of your yeah, favourites as well. Of course yeah, right. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> now I wanted to ask because there's been a lot written about Kate Shepherd and I think we all think we know about mm. Kate Shepherd and about what happened but I guess for you, you, you chose to write a book about her, but, but for children, you yes. know? So what, what made you choose to do that? Well, I actually thought of the idea um, October last year and I um, pitched the idea to my um, publisher and um, at the time we couldn't see how it would fit with this other series we're doing. Um, we've got Abel Tasman uh, mapping the Southern Lands book that came out end of last year. And so at first they weren't keen on the idea and then January um, my uh, publisher from Scholastic said, hey, um, have you developed that idea? And I said no and she says, well I think we should do it. So I just sat down and I, I was really excited about it because, um, you know, I, I believe in women's rights and or all humans' rights and, um, and so I just got excited and, and spat the story out in a week which I've never done before. In a week? In a week. Wow yes. that's amazing. <laughs> if you had Kate Shepard in 2018 you know all of her fights for justice and what she was doing would probably be quite normal nowadays but back then quite radical wasn't it? It was um, and I think she was a bit of a charmer I think she that's how, why so many men got on board with her and, and helped her in parliament I think she was just one of these charismatic figures that could talk to people and, and get them on board and she had women up and down um, New Zealand um, out there getting people to sign the petition and, and talking to people. That was the Temperance Union, is that yes, right? Yes, yes. Yeah. And, um, and that was because men at the time were basically saying, women don't want the vote, they're happy with us making all the decisions. Yes. Yeah, she was like, no, no, actually they're not. <laughs> so to counteract that, she would write lots of articles for the newspapers and say, um, actually, you know, women are just as intelligent as men. Um, we shouldn't be thought of as um, like animals or children children or um, people with uh, mental problems. Or a belonging. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you think she would have achieved the same goals if she was doing this in another country? Uh, well, there was women just as passionate as her in Australia and England and they took a lot longer. But I right. think seeing how New Zealand got achieved it, I think it helped their cause as well. But maybe it was it was partly her charm and her because mm. she was actually from the UK. She yeah, was. she came from yes. Liverpool. Is that yes. right? And that's what I love about the book because I I didn't actually know that much about her prehistory to temperance movement. You know, so yes. um, tell us a little bit about that. She was quite a tomboy, wasn't she? <laughs> Well, um, there are no diaries, so we don't know if she was a tomboy, but she was a feisty character. She, you know, when you're a feisty person, you, you're like that as a child. So I brought in the, um, the part about her kicking a ball and her brother saying, no, you can't play because you're a girl. Um, but um, so there would have been incidents like that in her life. And so that's creative nonfiction. You want to show her character. And I thought that would be a good way of showing her character. The other thing that I remember reading in it, um, which I thought was fascinating, was that she was riding a bicycle. Oh, yeah. And and that, that kids were throwing stones at her because she was a woman riding yes. a bicycle. And, and that's true. That, that's down in, um, uh, must have been a letter she wrote or something, but it's down in archive files that uh, young boys were throwing stones. And, you know, a, um, an elderly gentleman told her that it's not natural for women to be on bikes. <laughs> no, because they, they can't have physical exertion, yes, right? Yes. You know, we can't cope with it.
<laughs> and now Kate failed, you know, a couple of times to get this bill passed. So is this a, is this a story about perseverance as well? Absolutely, right. yes, because a lot of people would have given up. And I wanted to bring in, because, uh, you know, twice it failed, and I wanted to bring in the exasperation and, and, you know, possibly she got to a point where should I give up? And then remembering all those people she had talked to, women from all walks of life, and thinking, you know, I can't give up for them. And so, you know, that perseverance and carrying on, yeah, Such definitely. Such an inspiration. What do you find with them, especially the girls reading the book, what's their sort of response to it? Well, you know, I, they say they're empowered. You know, they wish they, um, if they're an adult now, and they say, oh, I wish I had that, was able to read that book when mm. I was young. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, I'm hoping young women, young girls will be empowered and think, you know, hey, it's okay to be a feisty young person. I'm not bossy. So, no. you know, they get labelled as bossy, but they're not. They're no. just feisty. They've got strong character. That's right. And everyone's an individual and you should be yes. celebrated for that. Yes. I love the way you've weaved stories into this because it adds a human element to this book, but also I love the illustrations. Yeah, Who's incredible. responsible? Marco Ivanchek. This is our fifth book together, and he's such a Isn't talented he? young man. He's 27, um, and uh, we his first book um, we did together was Anzac Heroes, and that was the one that won the uh, New Zealand Supreme Book of Year, Book of the Year Awards in 2016. So he's an extremely talented young man, yes. Well, it's a beautiful book. You should Thank be really you. proud of it. I wish I'd had it, actually, growing up as a, as a girl as well. Yeah, because being told you're bossy and too <laughs> loud. No, I'm Kate Shepherd. It's yes. fantastic. Thank you so much, Maria. Yeah, thank you, Maria. Maria Gill's latest book, Kate Shepherd, Leading the Way for Women, is available now from all great bookshops. Go and get yourself a copy.